Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley. Thanks for joining me today here on the My Favorite Things YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be creating a birthday card, gift card holder card. Did I say card enough times? <laughs> featuring some of the new products from the February release. And I'm going to be using the gift card frame die set along with the coordinating pouches. And I will use those pouches to also create a suspended shaker element. And I'm going to show you how to create a trap door on the back of this so that the recipient can get the gift card out without ripping the card apart. I'm also going to be using the gift card greetings along with the wish dynamics. And I'm starting out by taking an A2 size card front out of some linen cardstock and I'm die cutting the solid image from this. There's also a frame image, so I'm just die cutting that window out of the front of my card front. I also die cut a scrap piece of paper so that I could line it up on my card base. Now this is cut to four and a quarter, no, five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And I'm stacking that piece of scrap paper on top that was cut to four and a quarter by five and a half so that I can get my window in the exact same spot. But you can see when I die cut this, I'm leaving that bottom edge out of my sandwich so that I'm only die cutting three of the four sides. And I'm going to place this back on, kind of nestle it within that die cut area so that I can then emboss this into the card as well. And what that's going to do is on that fourth side where it's not cut, it's going to create a score line for me so that it will have kind of a hinged kind of embossed area. Now, if you don't have an embossing mat for your die cut machine, and you can do this with any die cut machine, I'm using the Gemini Junior, but you can absolutely create that score line with a scoreboard or your trimmer and a ledge or something like that. So once I have this cut here, you can see in my card base, I have that hinged trap door. And in the card front, I have my opening for my gift card. Now I'm going to go ahead and adhere my pouch onto the back of this card front here. And I'm using some quarter inch score tape for this. Couldn't find my eighth inch. Eighth inch actually works perfect for this. But the important, the moral of the story here <laughs> is that you want a strong adhesive. So whether that's a double-sided tape for you or a liquid adhesive, whatever works for you, but you want this to be a really good sturdy adhesive. Most tape runner adhesives, I would say, are not probably a good choice for this. So once I have my adhesive down, I'm going to go ahead and place my pouch. And then I went and I trimmed an eighth of an inch off of all four sides of this card front so that I could have kind of a matte area or a layered effect on this. And now I'm taking the frame die from that gift card window and frame die set, and I'm cutting it from some black and white stripe pattern paper. And while I'm doing all my die cutting, I'm just gonna finish all of my die cutting up. So I've used the little banner dies from the Vertical Hearts in a Row die set that was released in January. And I'm also using this Wish Dynamics that has the little candle for the eye, which I think is adorable. And I'm cutting that out of several different colors of pool cardstock or paper here. So I'm kind of creating an ombre effect with my die cut sentiment. And you can see I also cut it out of some gold glitter cardstock as well. And I'm putting those in what I call die cut prison, which is just a little bowl. You know, it sounds so awful, die cut prison, right? <laughs> but I just kind of keep them all rounded up so that when I go to look for them, I know where they are. Now I am stamping a sentiment onto this black die cut banner and it says this one's on me and that's from the gift card greeting stamp set. I went ahead and white heat embossed that and now I'm going to start assembling. So I'm starting with a little bit of liquid adhesive behind my frame and I'm just adhering that around that gift card pouch that's on my card front, not my card base, but my card front. And now I'm going to start adhering this wish in an ombre fashion. So I'm starting with my darkest color cardstock. I'm adding a little bit of liquid adhesive to the H and then I have where it's hanging off of that pouch, I do have a little bit of foam adhesive. And the rest of these letters I am going to add on to the shaker pouch or this gift card pouch with some strong liquid adhesive. Now I'm putting very little so that when I push these on there, I'm not squishing liquid adhesive out onto the front of my pouch. Because even though this dries clear, 
it will leave a haze on that pouch. So I'm just putting very little amount, enough to hold it on there, but not enough to squish it out. It's a fine balance, I know. And then I'm just going to adhere these all across that gift card pouch and set it aside to dry. Now, while this is drying, I'm taking some eighth inch score tape, which I actually found in my mess, and I'm adding it to another one of these gift card pouches. And I am going to use this to kind of create a sandwiched shaker element on the front of this card. So you can see I've taken my card front here now that that's all dry, and I'm going to add some iridescent stars inside of this gift card pouch. Now, if you want it to be mean, you could absolutely just put your gift card in behind this and when they open this trap door it would all fall out all over them but i was feeling like being nice today <laughs> so i put my iridescent stars in there and then i placed another one of these gift card pouches behind it using that eighth inch score tape and that kind of sandwiches that confetti in there so that it won't fall out on the recipient but like i said it would be fun to have it fall out on the recipient as well so now that I have that shaker element created, I'm going to adhere my embossed greeting on with a little bit of foam adhesive. And then I'm going to take some foam adhesive and place it all over the back of my card front. And you can see I have my gift card on that trap door. It's temporarily adhered there so that I can see where I need to put my card front onto my card base. And you can just use a little bit of repositionable adhesive to keep your gift card there. I thought I might end up changing this gift card out, but I actually ended up really liking the way that it looked. And you can see I adhered the little flame on top of that candle there with a little foam adhesive as well. So now in order to keep this trap door closed, I'm going to pierce a couple of holes diagonally across the upper left-hand corner of this gift card pouch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread some twine through there and tie a bow so that will keep the gift card, the trap door from opening up before you want it to. So it kind of wants to fold down or open up when you open the card base, but I wanted to be able to keep it closed. So I have a tapestry needle here and some twine, and I'm just bringing it through those pierced holes with my tapestry needle so that I have both of the ends on the front of the card here. And then I'm just going to take that twine and tie it in a bow. And this creates not only a decorative element on the front of this gift card holder, but it also creates a functional element in that it's keeping that trap door that I created closed. I finished up my card with a few sparkling clear sequins. I'm adhering those on with a little bit of liquid adhesive. And then I did add a layer of glossy accents over my flame that's on the front of my card as well, just to kind of make it shine a little bit more. And that finishes off my card today. A really fun way to create a trap door for your gift card so that the recipient doesn't have to pull this card apart in order to get to that gift card. They can kind of keep it all intact. And I also think that kind of suspended shaker element in there is really fun as well. And like I said before, if you want it to be really mean, you could just not do the second gift card pouch in there and have the sequins or confetti or whatever fall all over the recipient when they take that gift card out. Thanks for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this project. Remember, you could change up the sentiments or the colors on this to make this appropriate for any occasion. I just wanted to use that Wish die cut today, and I think it turned out so adorable with the ombre colors. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.